Okay, now we're on to the fifth course and we're setting up our plumb wall. It's ICF racing system. It's used to create a plank system for you to walk around and finish your forming and then pour your walls. This is called the plumb wall all-in-one system, I believe. Uh, we use it up for eight to nine foot walls. You can adjust it to pretty much any elevation you want. For this wall, we're doing a nine foot four wall. That's seven blocks. And our fifth, we're scanning them up. So we have this set up for a different height. We're gonna set it up now for a nine foot four wall. Setting up the elevation to work off of your plumb wall. I like to think about how I'm actually gonna work. So put it to about 32 inches. That's what we felt was comfortable for us. A little bit of uh, crouching over, but not too far that you're bending over the whole foundation doing the wall while you're troweling. So it's up to you if you're a tall crew, maybe a bit higher, maybe a bit lower. Just figure out what's comfortable for you. Even set up two pieces in one plank and then get uh, get prepared. So 32 to two feet, anywhere is nice there. The lower you go, the further you're gonna crouch. But the higher you are, then it might be uncomfortable to string line across and square up your building. We set up one here as an example. Our top of wall is around there. And then we go, <coughs> You measure down, we got 39, 81, transfer that onto the scaffold, click on there, take a marker, 39, at this hole, and then 81, which is right here. Slide over to your nine foot four, hold it there. There are a lot of pinch points on these things, so wear gloves. So there's that one, and then the bottom breaks. The last pin you want to put in is this one, but it can be adjusted in the field once you set up your bracing. It really depends on your soil conditions and where you'll land. But you can just set them all to one and then change them as, as required when you stand them up. And then you're ready to go. For fasteners for plumb walls, GRKs make a really good two inch screw. They're a little big and expensive. I like them a lot, but this is probably the go-to. It's a wood screw. It's a number 10, but with the two Robertson head, which is, everybody uses that. So keep those stock two inch. So you can stand up yourself. It's nice with somebody else to help you. They are about 50 pounds. Roll. Slide it out. The latch there. Hold the brace against the wall and on your line it's definitely a good pointer to make a full black line where you're gonna put your fastener so then you can see it in your channel here you're not struggling to find the web when you put your screw in go in the middle the ICF will compress and you'll want to put extra pressure on your screws you can put one per course. Pro tip, keep it vertical on the ladder. What's right that? on the outside corner. Right on the outside corner. Are we going to go on the other side? Yeah, it doesn't matter.